Oh wait, isn't this the worst tattoo? Oh, wait, no, what? I'm, I'm about to choose my anvil. What? I g crashed? Is this tilt cue? Oh, I think I've been tilted for seven hours. Oh wait, no, the stream's only going on for six hours. I've been tilted for six hours. All right, I'm gonna go get my LP back. I will simply just be on the winning side of the encounter and then I will end my stream. Box, box, I don't think you see all your mistakes. I, I don't claim to. I think anyone who claims that they can see all their mistakes is full of shit. If you can see all of your mistakes, you would have already been the rank one player by now. I'm saying I call out all the mistakes of mine that I can see. Players playing Trash to Treasure, one forcing Duelist, one playing Fortune, one playing Bard, one playing Aphilios. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, well, do I want to force a 3 cost reroll? Yeah, maybe I go two costs, and then I play Shenna, like actually. If you don't play a real build here, you're like pretty f <laughs> Shenna works pretty well here with pumping up. And it does look uncontested so far. Again, let me be the first one to say it. I can hate this encounter. This encounter is just, are you rerolling? Yes? Okay, congratulations, you top four. Or I guess a better way to put it is, are you uncontested while rerolling? Then you just choose the tier that, that buffs the most of your team and then you win the game. It's really stupid. This, this encounter does not do enough for the flex players. Like, you could continue playing your flex play, but you're just gonna be doing it from very far behind, which is really frustrating. If I was in a god flex spot, I would still continue flexing, but I would just be like pretty sad because I'd have to choose four cost. It doesn't benefit me now. I'll likely lose my streak. Very, 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 very difficult. All right, this is the build. This one, we might be able to make it work by forcing the Senna. But like, there's no pivoting from this spot. I'm just gonna write it down. Senna slash Stefan. Let's just hope that nobody else chose it. There is a chance that somebody else in this lobby thought the exact same thing as me. And if so, then we're pretty fucked. I wonder if this is correct. I think I'm down because it's an Aatrox. Let's go ahead and look up Senna's best items. I.E. Gwinsu's Last Whisper. Oh wow. No shadow without light. Alright, I'm down to start winning. Uh let's see. I think the IE is more important, actually. Yeah, the IE is actually more important.
Does pumping up change your ideal items here? I don't think so. Holy shit, I got I got smoked. He's forcing a Philos and he hit five faded. Okay. Uh I should probably throw this round. Yeah. It's worth four gold to throw. Pre-level. If I'm uncontested, this is a pretty good start. The duck said the ghostly damage based on pre-mitigated. I see that infinity is way better than lost whisper. Our wills align. Wow. What am I missing? I'm missing Jack Salawi. Hurricane looks pretty good here. Oh, what the? Oh, perfect. Actually, perfect. Well, thanks. Thanks. Up for a showdown. Oh wait, isn't this the worst tattoo? to choose my anvil what I crashed oh my god uh okay oh wait oh I, I i was not supposed to pick this um but now that i did I'm gonna do glove. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do bow because I think it's easier to get. I think it's easier to get glove. I forgot. You're, you're not supposed to open the anvil yet. Okay, that's my bad. Wait. Oh my god. Thank god I reconnected in time. Why not open the anvil? You're supposed to open it as you enter the carousel for the highest chance. Like here, I had to take half of a lost whisper, but I didn't know which half to get. He just licked me. I don't know which half of the Lost Whisper to take here. Okay, that's really stupid. Did you see that? That guy got econ because he happened to randomly get his orb. Uh, I like Impenetrable Bulwark. That's why. Fox Fox, it wasn't luck, he positioned for it. You literally can't position for it because it's random. You know that, right? You can't position for that because like, which orb is yours is random. Otherwise, everybody would always just stand in position to get their orb. Like, I, I've tested it out. I've tried standing still. I've tried standing still, and you don't get your orb. Or, like, standing in your original spot. It doesn't work. You have to just guess and get, like, a 1 in 8 chance. Can you position inside, Kench? I've tried. Because one time I accidentally got my orb and I made econ for it. And I was like, holy shit, I should do that every single time. But as far as I know, there is no way to guarantee it. Oh yeah, maybe by doing some crazy shenanigans with the minimap. But yeah, this is this is why you don't open the orb, man. The anvil until it's time. I just got encounter diffed. But also kind of my fault, because I really should have... Um, I really should have been uh, not opening the anvil at all. There was no reason to. I'm going to roll down to 40 for Shen too. How is red buff on Senna?
Red buff is apparently pretty good. Okay, fuck it. I'm actually down. According to the stats, red buff is equally good to Last Whisper. I'm assuming if you make a red buff, you're probably putting the, the Last Whisper or even try on somebody else. But I'm down. Yeah, I'm down to get an even shroud here. Okay, I'm down to change my mind and go back to Lost Whisper. The problem with this now is that there's not really any use for the remaining bow. Alright, I'm gonna roll for a Shen. No shadow without light. Shen. This one's got fire! Shen. Come, let me show you oh wait, why do I have Rexha in this build? Do you want to buy the Morgana? No, actually. You don't need a Morgana until much later. It's not worth losing Econ for. Isn't Rageblade worse than Slot on Senna? No. It's actually really good. Like, you might be thinking it has a positive Delta, but like, you'll feel it if you don't have it. Like, I'm pretty sure Rageblade is positive Delta on Aphelios as well, but like, if you don't have it, you will feel it. Okay, I'm going to once again roll down to 40 and try to hit a Shen. In darkness, we find ourselves. Okay, it's actually kind of crazy. I'm like very. Oh. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Now I might as well roll down to 30. You forgot to bow. Okay, I'm definitely stopping here. I, I was definitely not supposed to roll that one time. I, I hit my Shen and had 40, so no reason to keep going. What's the ideal ink shadow for this build? I don't know. I very rarely play this build because it's so contested. This just happens to be the game where this was the only uncontested build, funny enough. So I am down to try to be flexible. Oh, protection? Okay. Got it. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, I mean, I'm down to just roll after this. I only rolled like 30 gold and I'm already at 8 centos. That's insane. Not to mention I've got really good augments. And make sure to not grab that by the center yet. It'd be a huge throw to grab the center. Solid Who's next? Okay, there we go. Wow! No shadow without light. Okay, well. No one fights alone in the mist. I still need to roll for the others. Oh, yeah, that's definitely like a big wow. Uh, what am I gonna do with these items? These don't make anything playable. I'll wait. Uh, what's the end game of this build? The end game is just get Morgana Kane. That's your level eight. Go 10. No, I still did Shen 3. Like. Shen through with these items is unkillable. Senna 3 can't do it alone. Really nice to hit the Senna though, because now I can rest for a bit. Box Box, I'm trying to learn reroll econ. Why did you roll to 40 stage 3 versus slow roll above 50? Uh, how do I explain this? It's, it's, a, it's a very good question. The reason why I rolled down to 40, if you think about it, why wouldn't you roll down to zero? Well, the reason why you don't... Oh, wait, hang on. No. No. Probably not this. It's probably just know your enemy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just know your enemy. Uh, not too much of any of those. Okay. So, I need to explain to you opportunity cost. Why don't you roll to zero? Well... First of all, are you even likely to hit if you roll to zero? Probably not. But if you roll to zero, 
compared to a guy who didn't roll at all, how much money are you wasting, right? Because like, the guy who's slow rolling at 50 is rolling all the money above 50, which is like 10-ish gold per round. If you roll to zero and then you don't win from that spot, the first round, you are losing five gold compared to the slow roller. The second round, you're losing five gold to the slow roller because you're at zero gold, he's at 50. The second round, you're at five gold, he's at 50. The third round, you're at 10 gold, he's at 50. So you're losing five, then five, then four, then four, then three, three, two, one, and then finally you're caught up. That is a lot of lost gold and opportunity cost. If you go down to 40, how far behind are you? Oh, I just got one by Zoe. If you go down to 40, you miss one gold, right? Because for one round, you are at 40, and your opponent who's slow rolling is at 50. So you lose one gold of opportunity cost in exchange for seeing five shops sooner. So if you believe that those five shops will make the difference in your streak, then you should roll down to 40. If you roll down to 30, you will lose two gold because it's 50 gold versus 30 gold. And then you will lose one gold because on the next turn you'll be 40. So it is a three gold opportunity cost. So if it means keeping us a five streak, I would roll down to 30. If it means keeping a three streak, I would roll down to 40. Does that make sense? And if it means keeping like a six streak, I'd basically roll down like any amount if I was like close to the correct power level. Oh, I need to roll. So it's kind of a complicated answer, but I hope that that was useful to you. There's also like, you have to think about how much HP you'll lose if you don't roll. Not just like if you'll win or lose the round. But yeah, so think of it like this way. When you roll down to 40, you are paying one gold to see five shops earlier. When you roll down to 30, you are paying three gold to see 10 shops earlier. Below that, it's like, it's very ridiculous. Uh, what do I want here? I want tank items. I like Virtue of Marty. Yeah, Virtue of the Marty or the Zephyr or the Zizerot. Oh, the item sucks though. All right, I need to roll. Like, I need to roll pretty deep here. Just hit this shun and get out. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Am I down to keep rolling? I think I am. I'm gonna bleed pretty hard. Up for a showdown? Shall I turn in my badge and rifle as well? Oh no! Oh no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose because I didn't... I didn't spawn in the ZZ Rot. Oh wait, 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 okay. But yeah, here I rolled down to 20 because I'm really close to a big spike. It will start a streak if I do. And I... Uh, also, I'm looking at the HP bars. Everybody's like kind of low. Saving HP matters a lot here. I was like, I was at seven Aatrox with seven Shens and like seven Caitlyn's. So I figured rolling there was pretty high. Realistically, I could have stopped once I hit the uh, Caitlyn three. Okay, nice. Uh, do I want to sell? Probably not. Actually, maybe. Maybe I do sell, because uh, you can't play her until 8. Yeah, you can't play her until 8. And I still have to roll. What's your level 7? Uh, any bruiser. I wonder if itemized Caitlyn's good. I'm sure she's decent. Like, who else am I going to put the 80 items on, right? Oh wow, just one shot the Aurelia. I feel for this guy, by the way. He went level nine, flex play, loses to me who locked in his build very early. Okay, I definitely need to roll for this Shen before I level up. Like I've got the God tier items. 
leveling up my Shen to three star doubles the value of three items. I didn't see any Shens. Yeah, I should be able to hit. I'm down for like three Caitlyn items. I got a Shen? Bro, I'm down to Thin the Pool. All right, check us out. Thin the Pool, no Jutsu. Just give me one S. One S. One S and GG. A demonstration of superior judgment. All right. Do I, oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I open the full item first? I think I opened the full item first. Any Caitlyn items? Uh, Gunblade. Wait. I mean, technically red buff, but I don't think red buff Caitlyn is that good. I think I still take it. I do need an anti-heal. And then either Hurricane or Gwyn Uh... Okay, part of me feels like the Hurricane was better. You already have a lot of attack speed from pumping up, so like, do you really need a Gwyn Suze? The other part of me says, Gwyn Suze Sniper Sisters go brrrr, which is kind of exciting to watch. Um, let's go ahead and just do Split Redemptions. I herald the greatest blessing. Cool. Yeah, we have blinding speed at home. My god. I don't think he thinks that Shiv does anything. I mean, does it? Look at this. Like, I, I'm aware that Ghostly is magic damage, but like, how much magic damage do I do here? I'd rather have the bow and Caitlyn. Uh oh. Watch uh, okay. I'm about to get knocked up. Okay, so what can I do here? You have now reached 100 plus today. I didn't have, I, I guess the wrong corner, but it's fine. Both of my carries are fine. Wow, the Senna and Caitlyn actually go very hard. It's incredibly satisfying. Need an Aatrox item. I take the spark. Travel awaits. Yeah, what a game. See what happens. I split up my uh, my carries this time. Unsure if it's the right idea, but maybe my Caitlyn finds a crazy snipe on this Kogma. I'm not even kidding. Like, look at the angle. Oh, Nautilus got in the way. Come on, Caitlyn, find the Kogma. He's right there. Right there. Pew. Nice. This Caitlyn is very impressive. She's doing almost as much damage as Senna. This pumping up value, it goes crazy hard. 
Uh, I think I'm just gonna choose a corner. Something like that. If you happen to be on the left side, it's over. He was not on the left side. Wait, wow, my Zephyr still got his Aphelios from that spot. That's nuts. Wait, I just ran over him. Wow. Is Lolly 3 bad? I don't know about bad. Like, it's not worth it. Like, I can, I can hold this, but there's no way. I am probably just going to go 9 or roll for Morgana Kane. I think I'd rather go 9. At 9, you can hit Morgana Kane, Udyr. Also... We do so much frontline, or we do so much damage that every bit of frontline matters a lot. Wow. This is what it feels like to play uncontested Shenna. We also got very lucky. We high rolled a lot of our roll down. Hitting the Senna 3 like super fast. Uh, Gargoyle. AP and half. This guy's pretty scary. Let's do Gargoyle. I was thinking about doing Declaw, but. Okay, you guys want something crazy? Check us out. If I position like this, my goal is to cut open a hole for Bard. Or for Caitlyn to snipe the Bard. Let's see if she can find him. Oh, it didn't one shot. Alright, whatever. It is ridiculous how fast my team scales up. Hello, Zertalion. Cool. Alright, uh, well, let's level up. And then one Kane, one Morgana, one Udyr. One Kane, one Morgana, one Udyr. Does this do anything? No, I don't think so. I don't I don't think I need the toxin. I already have red buff. Um Okay. I uh, Honestly, I have so many lives. Maybe I was not supposed to level up here. Oh, fuck it. Win anyway? Win any... Wait. Yeah, win anyway. Wow. The Sandra sells you... I oh, do I have enough to afford this? Oh, component anvil. No. Uh, I'm just looking for my ghostlies. Come on. One more Ghana. waiting for one more Ghana. Uh, you guys want to see a psychotic play? Check us out. Boom. You see this positioning? This is the clear the path for the ultimate trick shot. I don't think it worked. Okay, it definitely didn't work. Oh god, this guy just destroyed my backline. Oh, I see. Lilia got a nice angle. Okay, think, Albert, think. You just hit the out position of one time in the next three fights. Sage crap! I'm gonna sell this guy, and I'm gonna hit a Morgana. I'm gonna hit a Morgana. 
My journey's only begin. I did not hit. Okay, you should the high roll one fight or out position him one time. This time I'm not gonna clump to get killed by Lilia. And then once you find the Morgana. Oh, hang on, hang on. Looking winnable. Bring it home! Nice. Okay, not clumping was the play. We didn't even need the Morgana. That was a really stupid game. Let me be the first one to say it. The first encounter forced me into rerolling, and then I found the only reroll build not currently contested that was viable in my spot. And then I played it, and then I I was lucky enough to not be contested. I was lucky enough to hit my three-star center early, and then the rest was over. The only like skilled decision there was that I gave up the idea of being flexible. <laughs>